Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty. We do everything beauty and makeup and that includes testing out new to me indie brands, new eyeshadow palettes, you know eyeshadow palettes and highlighter are my favorite makeup products and I am so excited about this new to me indie brand. I have heard amazing things about this brand. I've seen tutorials, eye looks, palettes being released that have caught my attention, but I never bit the bullet and purchased anything until today. This palette spoke to me the minute that I saw it. And like I said, it's a brand I've wanted to try for so long. And that is It's Belle Cosmetics, and this is the Under the Full Moon palette. Now, you know that I am a color lover at heart. I love anything colorful. I love neutrals with a twist. And like I said, when I saw this palette, I immediately went, I have to have that. Look at this absolutely beautiful color story. I am going to go ahead and insert close-ups of the palette, the color story itself, and the swatches. I love how unique and kind of grungy this color story is. There's some beautiful cool tone mattes. There's light mattes, mid-tone mattes, deep mattes, and the shimmers. I love that there's multi-chromes, duo-chromes, and this green shade Moon Glade, this multi-chrome that shifts from green to blue to purple with a little bit of a black base, absolutely beautiful. And the two shades in here that really struck me in the swatches because they were so unique and different than I expected them to be was the deepest shade in the palette called Lycantrophy, Lycantrophy, and then the shade Obium, which is that cobalt blue shade. Oh my goodness, those swatch beautifully. I must use them. You, If you want to create a neutral look, you have that option as well because we have quite a few neutral shades to choose from and some neutral shimmers as well. And if you want a colorful look, you have the option for that. If you want a blue look, a gold look, so many different options with this palette. I'm so excited to put this on my eyes. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. I will link It's Bell Cosmetics and the Under the Full Moon palette down below for you. I did use a discount code when I purchased this, so I will put all of that information in the description box, as well as my favorite beauty subscriptions, all of the other makeup that I'm wearing today, if you would like to shop my look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let me zoom you in and let's test the It's Bell Cosmetics Under the Full Moon palette. that I'm going to do is prime my eyes in my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is my go-to eyeshadow primer. I love it. It keeps my shadow in place all day, prevents creasing, and also because it's a little bit more of a nude base, it really brings out the true color of both the mattes and shimmers. So the first shade I'm going to pick up is this beautiful blue shade here. It's a baby blue. It's called Sunless. I'm going to pick that up on a fluffy brush. Tap that off. I have never tried the It's Bell Cosmetics formula, so I don't really even know what to expect, so it's even more exciting. And I'm going to use this basically as my transition shade. I'm going to pull that through my crease and actually up above my crease because I do have slightly hooded eyes and I do want to see this beautiful shade Sunless when my eyes are open. Again, just buffing that into the crease, a little bit above the crease. This is beautiful. Very, very pigmented. This is one of the lighter mattes in the palette and I'm getting quite a bit of color payoff, which is making me really excited to try out the other mattes and shimmers. That went on absolutely beautifully. Next, I'm going to pick up the matte Gray Dust, which is this really pretty purple gray cool toned matte. And I'm going to focus that right in my crease. I am not going to go above my crease this time because I do want that beautiful shade sunless to still show. I'm just going to focus that on the crease itself and just buff that in windshield wiper motion, get that nice and deep and buffed into my crease. That shade is also really pretty. It's definitely a little bit more blue leaning than I was expecting, but it pairs beautifully with sunless. And then using that same fluffy brush we use for sunless, no added shadow, I'm just going to blend those two shades together. 
Now 100% in the outer corner, I have to use this cobalt blue shade. I also wanted to use this deep shade. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. You know what, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm going to use the deepest shade, I don't know how to pronounce this, Lichen Trophy. I'm going to use that to deepen up my outer corner and we'll buff this cobalt blue on the lower lash line. So I'm going to pick that shade up, again, kind of tapping that off just to avoid any fallout. And I'm going to pack that in the outer corner. Wow, that shade is gorgeous. I knew, like I said, it was a unique shade when I swatched it. It is purple leaning, but it also has some blue in it. The mattes in this palette are really interesting. They're very unique to my collection. I love how grungy they are, and I just love that they're a little bit unexpected. This shade is layering beautifully over those other two mattes, and it is giving me everything I need in a deeper outer corner. And then back into that shade Sunless, that first shade that we used in the crease, picking that up on a brush, I'm going to just buff. Again, buff those edges, blend those edges. These mattes, absolute perfection. Now I'm going to go in, as always, with my NYX glitter glue, put some of that on my lid, and I cannot wait. And when I say cannot wait, cannot wait to test out these shimmers. Without question, without question, using my finger, we'll do a finger application and a brush so we can test out It's Bell Cosmetics formula, whether it's better applied with a finger, brush, or both. I'm going to start with my finger and use the shade Moonshade. As soon as I swatched that, I knew I knew that had to go on my lid. So I'm actually going to focus that on about the outer half of my lid. Seriously, look at that. Definitely not disappointing. That is teal ocean goodness. Absolutely stunning. And then using a brush, I'm going to pick up the shade August 1st, which is this duochrome purple, blue, silver shifting shade. And we're going to apply that right next to Moonshade on the inner portion of our lid. Ooh, that is so pretty too. It is this beautiful lavender blue, shifty, sparkly shimmer. Really beautiful on the inner on the lid. This would also make a beautiful inner corner highlight if you wanted to pop a little bit of purple into the look. Shimmers applied beautifully with a brush or a finger. Ooh, I really like those two side by side. Oh, I also want to test one of the gold shimmers. So we have Night Flocks and Late Summer. I think I'm going to pick up Late Summer and I'm going to pop that right in the middle just to highlight the lid and just add that pop of gold also gorgeous look at that it just adds that pretty pop of gold right to the center of the lid and then as promised this cobalt blue shade she's going right onto the lower lash line that's the shade obium i'm not sure how to pronounce that i've never seen a lot of these words before but i'm going to buff that on my lower lash line i want to stick pretty close to my lash line because i want to pop in a shimmer as well i love this cobalt blue shade it's the prettiest cobalt blue i have in my collection hands down and then back into that first shimmer moon shade i'm just going to buff that right on top of that cobalt blue for inner corner highlight, we're using Full Moon, this little shifty number right here, absolutely so shifty and sparkly, and I'm going to pop that. Oh, wow. Look at her. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. That would be incredible on the lid. Wow. Wow, I'm going to just pull that a little bit under my lower lash line. That may actually be my favorite shimmer in the palette. This full moon right here, it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Back in with that fluffy brush, no shadow as always, just going to give everything a quick blend. Let me go ahead and do a liner and mascara, do something with my hair. I actually just came home from my workout and I'll be back to share my first impression thoughts in the It's Bell Cosmetics Under the Full Moon palette. So here is the completed eye look using the It's Bell Cosmetics Under the Full Moon palette. 
I love my eye look. I love everything about it. I especially love the little pop of gold on the lid. I think that that just enhanced the look so much. And like I said, when I applied that inner corner highlight, that beautiful shade August 1st, that shade is one of the most gorgeous shimmer shades I've ever seen. It just stands out and I love every minute of it. I am excited to put that all over my lid. The next look that I create, I want to focus on some more of these grungy, more neutral tones and then pop in some of the, pop in the one shimmer I didn't use. I used all the other shimmers. Exceptional. The mattes are beautiful. They're buttery soft, easy to blend. They're not patchy. I could layer, layer, layer with no issues. Was able to deepen up that outer corner beautifully with the deep dark shade. This palette's incredible. I had It's Belle Cosmetics on my radar and now it's really on my radar. I will most likely purchase most of what they released as long as the color story speaks to me because I'm honestly blown away. I am blown away by the It's Belle Cosmetics brand. You know I'm a big indie makeup lover in general. There isn't a single mainstream brand that can even compete in my humble opinion with indie makeup and It's Belle Cosmetics is right up there with some of my favorite indie brands. I love it. I absolutely love this palette. I cannot wait to play with this again. I can see It's Belle Cosmetics climbing quickly to the top of my indie makeup list. Let me know down below if you picked up the palette, if I've encouraged you based on my look. And of course, I will link it down below for you with the discount code that I use, as well as all of the other makeup that I'm wearing. If you wanted to shop my look, of course, discounts to my favorite indie brands, my favorite beauty boxes, and come join me over on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. Cannot wait to see what It's Belle Cosmetics releases in 2024.